We had never been to Vietnam before and we had no idea what to expect. After just watching three YouTube videos and a few TikToks, we took a leap into the unknown and went to Vietnam. This basic guide to Da Nang, Vietnam is to inspire and to educate you on the basic ways that you can enjoy Da Nang, Vietnam, this coastal city. Da Nang has so much to offer and we'll be breaking this down into four guides. So without further ado, let's get into our basic guide on Da Nang, Vietnam. If you're new to our channel, my name is Nisi and I'm the mom of Coco and Jerry. My husband Ron is always with me, but today I'll be doing the guide since I'm the one who did the majority of the planning. And I want to give you those plans in case you're inspired by our vlogs or want to check out Da Nang, Vietnam and you want more information. We are the ones that are going to give you that information, so be sure to subscribe and also check out our travel series where we broke down all of these things that we're going to be explaining in this guide and the guides to come. So first thing you're going to want to know is how to get around. Number one thing you'll hear on YouTube and everywhere is motorbike because it's the number one thing that most people use to get around which is motorbike. Even the sidewalks are for the motorbikes. Motorbike, motorbike, motorbike. Guess what? We haven't even been on a motorbike and we've been here for almost three months. Yeah, pretty shocking. So how we got around because we're a family is Grab. We used the Grab app which allowed us to take a car. And one thing I want to mention about Grab is I thought you had to use your credit card always, but you can actually use cash. So you can download the Grab app and you can use it and pay the fare at the end of your trip, which I think is a great way to avoid scams and also a great way to also lower down the price because Grab offers Grab Premium, which also allows you offers to deduct the price. This is a good tip, guys. And also, you're able to um, avoid the credit card fees, which happens with international credit cards and things like that when you attach your credit card to Grab, which is what we did at the beginning, and sadly, it costed us. Before we continue with our basic guide to Da Nang, I do want to thank today's sponsor, which is Timu. Thanks so much for sponsoring this video, Timu. You are awesome. Timu is an amazing platform where you can get pretty much everything. Literally everything and anything and things that you never thought of, which is what you need when you're traveling because you're going to a place you've never been and things that you're going to experience you're never going to experience. So we were trying really hard to think, how can we prepare for Da Nang? And when we were able to check on Timu's website, we were able to find things that were not available at our local stores. Timu offered these amazing uh, fans, which were able to spray water and fan you at the same time, adding a cool mist. And we bought two for our two little kids. So we also got these um, travel adapters which most people think about buying this but I never thought about buying this my husband is the one that said we need to get this because we're going to a different country where voltages are different the inputs are different and we're gonna need to charge our phone our laptop and this is something that is a must get one of these and we also got this uh, travel bag which Ron has been wearing non-stop in all our videos you can literally watch our travel series and see that he's always wearing this right here to attach to his body. Thanks Timu, because we couldn't find this at an affordable price anyways in any of our stores locally. It's already worn up because Ron literally wears this so much. And we got these for the kids because we were expecting to take motorbikes, which we didn't yet. And these are basically to protect the kids. So it goes around them like a little seatbelt and clips on the parent. So they are able to ride ride with us and not fall off. The next thing is these leashes. We actually started using these before we left Canada because my kids love, they're free. They're free kids, man. So they run and this is a leash that basically stops them. And you can see us using this in the Han Market video. And the kids have even asked us to use this in the ocean. <laughs> Whenever we go swimming, they want us to use this so like we don't have to go swimming to grab them. They just have the leash. So these are a must. I've never seen anyone recommend these things and I'm recommending it to you. You can check the links down below. You're gonna have to download the Timu app, which offers all these like unique 
catered products for things that you will typically like and buy. They offer free shipping. Hello, that's better than taking a car and driving to the store. And they offer 90 days free returns, which again, hello, you don't have to drive anywhere. We still have these products, we still use them. Everyone asks us where we get these fans because no one's seen them. And yeah, Timu. I got it from Timu. So thanks Timu and we're gonna go back to the video right now. Another form of transportation is taxis. You'll see bright blue cars. They're not yellow here, they're bright blue. So that is a taxi and you can use that to go from point A to point B, even C, D, E, F, G. Another thing I wanna mention about the Grab app, going back to that, is that you can actually rent out a car or even a bike for a whole day or even a few hours. But I think that's pretty cool and it's a great feature to know that you can trust this application. However, if you are looking for different ways to use transport, whether it's like a van because you have a larger group of people or anything like this, we do have transport options available down in the description through Kluk. Kluk is the number one here in our guide. We love Kluk because it's the number one way we've been able to book things. So if you wanted to know more information, stay tuned as well as check in the description. All the links will be there. So number one to our basic guide in Da Nang is the Mikei Beach. I thought it was Mikey. It's Mikei apparently. Maybe I'm still messing it up. But this is a perfect start to your trip to Da Nang. I mean, everyone came here for the beach anyways, right? If you're looking for a laid back start to your trip, Mikei is a must. Known for one of the most beautiful beaches in Vietnam, the stretch coastline offers a soft white sand, clear waters, and an endless horizon. It's no wonder that the locals love it just as much as the tourists do. And you can see this in the early mornings as well as around 5 p.m. We spent a good few mornings here letting the kids run around while we soaked in the sun. If you're an early riser, you can catch the local fishermen pulling in their nets, which is a slice of authentic coastal life. Number two on our guide is the Dragon Bridge. I mean, you know it, I know it. It's also right next to the night market. So you kind of get a two for one experience here. You got fun and fire. You can't leave Da Nang without witnessing the iconic Dragon Bridge. So every weekend at 9 p.m., so it's Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, you can catch the dragon that is attached to the Dragon Bridge, breathing fire and water, making an unforgettable spectacle for the whole crowd. A fun fact, which may not happen to you, but it happened to us, is that if there is a fireworks festival, the Dragon Bridge will not be operating. So, fun fact and... Uh, it's amazing. I thought, I thought it was beautiful seeing the lights in the nighttime of the Dragon Bridge and in the daytime, definitely make an effort to walk from the tail to the head or the head to the tail, whichever you prefer. But walking, I don't think is mentioned enough in guides these days, but the best way to get to see a city is to walk. And walking the Dragon Bridge was amazing because of the view, because of the, the, the grandness of the bridge. It was just amazing and definitely one of our most favorite moments with the Dragon Bridge compared to the night version of the Dragon Bridge. Right next to the bridge is a night market, which is perfect for late night snack or picking up a few souvenirs. We wandered through endless stalls of local um, food and trinkets. What surprised us the most is the prices here are actually comparable to those in the Hal market. And in cases, it's even cheaper. The night market is a must do because Ham Market, while popular, can be extremely hot and competitive, especially if you're hunting for souvenirs. So if you want a more relaxed shopping experience, the night market is your go-to for market stuff. I mean, the Ham Market had a lot more variety, whereas the night market was just basically like a summary of the Han Market. And I would definitely prefer the night market over the hand market because of the temperature and also because you can watch our videos that kind of shows you a walkthrough of the night market and then you can watch our hand market video and you can just see that hand market is so stressful compared to the night market. It felt so much more relaxed and it had something to look forward to which was the dragon bridge at the end and the food was pretty much the same except night market had more seafood which don't eat the seafood in the night market guys eh. 
Number three on our basic guide list is a must try. It's Hoi An. Um, Hoi An is an ancient town that is just south of um, the downtown Da Nang area. And it's actually where most tourist attractions are because it has the whole Vietnamese vibe to it. We went down with a private car booked through someone on our Facebook Vietnamese group and it was amazing because we got to see more of Da Nang by driving down and seeing like the farmlands, even the mountains and then finally we made it to Hoi An where there is this, this spectacular beauty in the lantern little town. Hoi An deserves its own spot in every Da Nang itinerary. Just 30 minutes drive away, Hoi An's ancient town is actually a UNESCO World Heritage Site, famous for its lantern lit streets, traditional architecture, and riverside charm. We didn't know much about Hoi An before coming, but after our visit, it became one of our favorite places in Vietnam. Don't miss the Lantern Festival every full moon where the entire town lights up with vibrant colors. It's like stepping into another world. Plus, the food in Hoi An is one of the best we've had. Uh, we actually went onto this rooftop cafe and got to see the top of Hoi An. We'll leave all the information down below of the locations of everywhere that I'm mentioning. And it's just incredible to see the city from the top and just, it's years and years of heritage, years of history. And it was just so beautiful with every store that was up and it's just in Vancouver we have a place called Gastown. It's very similar to Gastown but this is just another level. Hoi An was just really like stepping into a storybook. And we did the Lanterns um, River experience which you can also book down below but it is just an incredible experience. You have to do it if you come to Da Nang. Number four is Banna Hills, the most popular spot in Da Nang. I think most people book their trips to Da Nang just for this place. If you've seen photos of the stunning golden bridge held up by giant hands, then you already know why people flock to Banna Hills. It's one of the most famous attractions in Da Nang and for good reason. Although it's often crowded, the surreal architecture and mountaintop views make Banna Hills worth the trip. Take the cable car, the longest in the world, and explore the French village, flower gardens, and a fantasy park. And it's all included in your ticket. It's an amazing experience, especially for families, and I think for couples too. You can make your trip easier by booking Banna Hills through Kluke, and you can check our link below for that. And it includes a skip the line access, as well as you'll be able to go on pretty much everything. And it saved us a lot of time. So these are my final thoughts. Why Da Nang deserves more time and why we decided to stay for three months. This basic guide only scratches the surface of what Da Nang really has to offer. We hope it inspired you to book a flight out and visit and explore this city. And whether you're looking at the beach or taking in the local culture or indulging in delicious foods, Da Nang is a perfect blend of relaxation and architecture and adventure. So stay tuned for our next guide where we'll be covering unique experiences that we've had and we recommend for those of you who want to get a little deeper and more unique experiences when you're coming to Da Nang. Because being touristy is cool, but sometimes you just want to be like, you did something that no one else did. So stay tuned to our next guide for unique experiences in Da Nang that we've experienced and that we would love to recommend to you if you want to have something to share that maybe someone else hasn't experienced when they came to visit Da Nang. And also we'll be sharing family friendly activities as well as a retirement guide because most of our friends here are retirees. So we're excited to show you more and hope that you subscribe. Thanks so much for watching our video and we'll see you in the next video. We jumped off the subway leading nowhere Your warm hands rubbed off the cold around me I heard you say that everything is alright But how did you know how I felt? You saw right through me that day I was lost in space But you pulled me down and wiped away Those cloudy thoughts I could see the sky
I'll always remember it. How you turn everything around.